We're here with Ron Shepard and John Snyder. We're gonna look at alley agates and we're gonna talk about the alley agate nicknames in this video. So we got ourselves a list and we've got a spread of great marbles that are alleys with nicknames. So the first one is the carnival. And here's three examples. These are early produced alley models, a green base with a two-tone orange, right, and black. Right. Bill McCaleb was kind of the first one to discover these, and they're from Pennsboro only, and he ended up buying five of them, which wasn't sure what it was, and he ended up, we finally dug some, and Davis family had them here local, and discovered they were carnivals, and Bill McCaleb in Illinois is the one that named them, and that's pretty much sought after, but they're hard to find. Very hard to find, very collectible alley, one of the signature alley marbles. And then the calligraphy, which is really a pattern, a nicknamed pattern. Here's some great examples here with different color combinations. And it's one of the busiest swirl patterns you'll see in any marble from any company in any time frame. Also hard to find. These also show up in the Alley Salesman sample cases. There's right. two of those cases and there is Nine rows of different colors. Each row is a different color, but there's nine different color combinations, nine different rows in the Alley Salesman sample case, which was two of. A lot of calligraphies in it. So we know they're from Pennsboro, and they're from 1933 to about 1936 at the most. Terrific. This one is go a really hard material, one. And she don't live near us, so she had to ship it. Nice. That one's a real it's hard like, one to get. This is she this is the most common one right here. Okay. She would have just bought it from Canada. Everybody. And what 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 how do you, what's the date on this? 19 1933 to 1935. Here we go. Here here's some chalky examples. You got a, an 11 sixteenths there. And the chalk for the chalk was actually a mistake, right, in production? Yes, the, it got the name chalky. It's more than likely probably a bad glass mix. We're pretty sure of that, and it's probably too much lime. Uh, here's what it looked like when you're digging it, and marbles usually ended up blood. There's a long story. We might get that in here later. But this mm -hmm. is, and they got named chalk. That's the material that creates right. that very white cake, the icing white. It's a white. bad glass mix, and Sammy Hogue and I talked over for years, and we was like, well, it looks like chalk, so we'll just call them chalkies. And each company had, it's not unique to Alley. You can find a few vitros and some acros, this and that. They all had a bad glass mix once, or not this and that, and you will find this, and it does look like chalk. Some of it's really white, some of it isn't. Some of it will get really smooth doing on the glass, some of it's rough on the surface, so it varies a lot. It can it's, show up in, in any any company's marbles. Right. Well, it's just a, it's a, such a terrific color. When they were shoveling the stuff in the back of the tank, it wasn't easy to get a bad glass mix. And that's how you see metallics. You get copper and metal and everything right. else. And if you get a little bit too much one ingredient or the other, it's going to change it. And it makes it makes for a very special marble. Right. Very, in this section of the video, we are going to sort some swirls. There's a couple of alley types that are recognizable and identifiable as alley swirls. So we're going to look at those. If we slip up, I have a, a little panic button there <laughs> to go and hit if I need it. But um, there's really, there's five that I wanted to show real quick. This is the sort of green on tan alley and they can sometimes get almost like a chocolate milk color to them. These are Alley St. Mary's marbles. They're pretty common marbles. Another type would be these with the powder blue. These are Alley St. Mary's marbles. They can get similar. There's, there's heatings that are a little similar to those that um, are three colored. And here's some of the similar heatings but they, they use a, a real teal colored ribbon there and their base on that is, is this vitrolite powder blue color. They also have, if you look in this area here, these are kind of a very light green base with a green swirl. 
A lot of those types are alleys. Or there were millions of marbles made every day by several companies for several years that had similar recipes. So, you know, you can't, you don't always know for sure, but those would be uh, pretty good for alley, especially if you have a pattern like, say that. Alley uses this really cool aqua or teal color in their swirls at St. Mary's and at Pensboro. And it's the same color really as the Vitro Aquamarines. Um, and, and Heaton used it as well. These all show that identical color. So it's gonna be, it's, these are nearly impossible to separate unless you can pick out like here's a flame pattern, for example. I know these are, are Heaton's because they were dug there. Otherwise, it's difficult to tell. One cool bonus with alleys that have green swirls is the occurrence of fine ox hair in their marbles. Here's a small group here with that ox hair that may have been accidental um, in the production process. Here's a couple of very similar Ravenswoods. They'll also show ox hair. And here's a bunch of Heatons. Again, we've got ox hair, different versions of ox blood in their green swirls. This is a really nice alley type. I believe these are Penn's burrows with a, sort of a mint green base and that lavender that they used. They used that at Penn's Borough and St. Mary's. Here's another very identifiable alley. These are the green base. It's very much a game marble kind of green base with transparent red swirls. And we're gonna go back to Ron for more alley nicknames. All right, so, and we've got some larger size, some boulders here. Are these boulders? And what is a boulder by, by the way? Boulder is anything The shooter that's... is three quarter inch size, mm -hmm. and that's regulation, isn't that? But a lot of people call the, any larger marbles shooter. Shooter. But technically, we should get away from that. We should go to boulders. <laughs> I know, when I you do go, When you go above three quarter inch, I'm it's a worst. boulder. Whether it's seven eighths, one inch, or inch and a quarter, it's a boulder. There's sweet baby grays right. in the back row. And the sweet baby grays will vary. Different shades of the grays and the white. Most of them are seven eighths, but you can find them in five eighths size. And they were named by Nola Morgan. And they're pretty much all from Pinsboro site. Awesome. And what are these unique colors here in the front row? The brown and green, right? These are seven eighths. They're all seven eighths size. And they vary a little bit in the shades of the brown, but not a whole lot. Some of them's got more brown coverage, but these are called woodland woodland camo it's woodland like the camo. army uses their camo oh, yeah. is called woodland it's that's the, appropriate these are the colors right so we have mountain dews as well here these are talk about hard to find right and very the desi mountain, desirable the mountain model. dews were all made at saint mary's site uh, and they are very hard to find and uh, some of them will have just a little bit of orange in them and some of them are just a green base nice green base and yellow if you look at a mountain dew soda pop bottle that's the colors you're going to find. It's a transparent right. green, and they are really hard to find. Right. And you can see the transition coral. right here. Right. Yellow to kind of a burnt orange to the more coral color. Uh -huh. It's all in transparent glass. Some of the corals are opaque, but most of them are transparent. Some of them can be, and the coral color will vary a lot. And there is an exotic coral, or coral that we'll get pictures of later okay. that has orange coral color, orange color, yellow color, and there's some with purple. And it, those are called exotic corals. Exotics. Is it your belief that maybe Champion didn't produce corals and it's really maybe it just got, alley? We got them stir mixed up because Champion and Alley at Pinsbury were right side by side. And all the digging took there and the marbles went down the creek and everybody kept digging these and they attributed them to Champion. But so far, I haven't found any proof of Champion making coral, but the Alley family and some of the alley packages all have these, uh, num numbers of them. And they were made a few at Pinsburg, but a lot of them at St. Mary's. They've even been dug at St. Mary's. St. Mary's. So Saint right Mary's. now I'm leaning, and a lot of collectors are, if Champion made any corals at all. Christensen, Christensen Agate in Cambridge did make a few corals. Uh, 
but most of them you're gonna find a single cut line or a double cut line. It's gonna be swirled. Uh -huh. And um, to, to me, 95% of any of the coral colors you find with the green transparent epic are gonna be alley, and you might find a few possible Christus and agates. And Peltier has a few. Peltier has green and coral. They've been dug, and they're hard to separate from alley, but they're pretty huh. rare. In a swirl pattern? Yes. Wow. Yes. All right, so we have Halloweens also from Alley. These are pretty cool marbles and uh, also vary, plenty of variations. These here, these three examples are two colors, right? But they come in more than just two right. sometimes. These were dug at, found at Pensboro only, the only place I know these were made. And we've got them in, we'll show you later, original packaged boxes. And they can be, the orange will vary in them. It's always the black, dark base. Christus Naga has one very close to this, but if you get them side by side, you can see the difference. All oh, right. And these come with the orange and black as original Halloween. You can find them with orange, yellow, and a little bit of white. Mm -hmm. You can find them with orange and red. Very hard to find marbles. Um, let's look at some, a couple of sea foams. We have two examples yeah. with two variations. This one on the left is a little bluer, and this one just has a just a touch of blue in it. But that's sort of an opal base, right? It's a tinted opalescent base. It's not really yellow. It's kind of a light tan opalescent base. Right, a golden. And color. it's a the name seafoam comes from the color. If you look at color, color charts the and the way cars are painted, it's a common color in the '60s. Cars seafoam oh, color. That's okay. where the name comes from. Right. The person who named them painted cars, and you like the color seafoam, and that is usually the color you swirl. It's usually this tinted, moony-like base, opalescent base. Very hard to find marbles. So let's check out the pistachios here. We've got a couple examples. The pistachios are from all from Pensbury site, and they're, the green stays pretty close on for the base, and they have black swirls, flames, and uh, not blue, not really brown. If it's brown, it's going to need to be a really dark brown. And biggest requirement on it is they need to glow under black light. As, as you can see, they glow very bright. There's no doubt nice. if they're going to glow or not. You can even further away. And this is a very small black light. Yes. But they're very strong. This one glows. Right. It glows just like these. But take the black light away, and you can see a lot of difference. It is not pistachio. Right, it just has a glowing, the same glowing base or similar. Mm. They're often had to have great patterns on them. Some of them flame really good. Yeah, uh, I've really seen quite a few reason. with the drizzle on them. Like this one has the drizzle on it. Yeah, a lot of them flame, you know, very hard. Yeah, uh, they're Pinsbury nice, marble. Nice marbles. All right, Ron, let's see your snakes and your snake skins. And the snake skins is the ones that most everybody's more familiar with. And there's a lot of theories what happened here. And it's just one theory, this and that. Uh, welding rods, stick rods, end up in the back of the tank a lot. And okay. this looks a lot like if you've done any welding, it looks like the flux that's on the top of a weld. Like it's the flux off the outside of a welding rod. Yeah, it's a real... But it looks Weird. like a <laughs> looks like a snake skin. Someone I'm not sure. Give me name them snake skin. Yeah, it's appropriate. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, they're really great. Great. And models. the snake is unique to Pensbury only, and they're pretty hard to find. A lot of them are clear base. They can be a single color. A lot of them have this gray and brown mix, and some of them single color. Some of them's almost a black. Uh, some of them's got a green stripe inside. And then you can have a slight tint of green base okay. with the swirl inside. And they, these are just they, called... They look to be very, really difficult to, you know, identify. Right. You know, uh, to be honest. And they've just... But they will have a green tint, some of them. And these got the name snake long before these showed uh -huh. up. So They're got, unrelated. We got snake and snake skin. Terrific. You have abalone. Abalone is... Uh, the only way you get abalone, it looks like metallic. It's a silver, but if you look at it, yeah. Close. Yeah. It, it's rough. 
It's not smooth like metal is, aluminum, and it's not, it'll have a rough surface to it. And it can be really wide or it can be really narrow. But it comes, it happens because of being buried in the ground at the right temperatures, enough time, and enough moisture is what causes it. You see it on different glass, soda pop bottles, all kinds of buried glass. If you uh, do a lot of search on the word abalone, this is what you'll find. Is right. it's, it's, it, the only way you get the abalone, it's not metallic, but it looks metallic. So. Right. Wow. So um, there's a line of marbles with blue base and there's some separations with the nicknames here. So let's look at the blue skies, blue ladies, and that whole family here. We've got some blues and purples and these are signature alleys. So this first one is blue sky, right? That was On the, the left. first marble. I know that alley got a name, it was Blue Sky. And it was Sister Bill's show, and John's one of them. A lot of people was after me to name these marbles, name these marbles for years. And I was walking down the street, and I'd ask about the name Taterbug, and I was coming down the street, and I had alley marbles in my pockets. And of course, I looked up the sky, and it was super <laughs> bright blue and white clouds every day, and I said, Blue Sky. And I went down the street a little bit further, and my ex-wife's favorite alley marble was this one right here. And she was sitting there talking. I said, okay, I pulled that over out of the pocket. I said, that's Blue Lady. Blue Lady. That's Two instant nicknames. Not Pink Lady or anything else. Blue Lady. Blue Sky, Blue Lady. Blue Sky, Blue Lady. And then there's variations from that. Right. That fell after that, which you get into right here, Blood Sky. Blood Sky. Which is the red and oxblood. And it's blue and white with the, with with the, the bright oxblood. red oxblood. The larger ones usually don't show too much white. Wow. And then you get into Stormy Sky. Right. Uh, um, which we really don't have a really good one here. It's a blue sky, and around all the edges of the white is a dark dark brown or black, a darker color around the white with the blue yeah. and white, which is a stormy sky. And then you get into the Opal Lady, which is the same lavender color, only it's an opal, moony opalescent base with the same lavender color. And these are all... Pensboro only. Pensboro. That was the location they were made. Here's an opal. You can see that base glass is transparent or even translucent. These are just some variations. This one here you is get into clear the, base. Right, clear base, the same and that lavender would be purple. The curly cake. Right? right, and that was named by Bill and Caleb and it's spelled with two K's. K. K curly is K, U R L. Right. Way spelled it, curly cake. Curly cakes. Cool beans. And you have to be careful with some of these clear base ones in this and that and the dark ones in this and that because Champion, lay years and years years later, Champion made some that's really close to them. We've got much more alley agates to cover with Ron coming soon. So please tune in for more. If you like this video, please give it a like and thank you for watching Vintage Machine Made Marbles.